What's up guys, Jab here back with a brand new mobile gaming video and I wanted to talk a little bit about something that excites me when it comes to mobile devices and kind of the future of mobile gaming. I think if things turn out the way that I hope that they do, this could kind of be like the next evolution of mobile gaming. But before we get into any of that, of course, as always, guys, we're getting so close to 25,000 subs. So if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. But anyway, the thing that I wanted to talk about today is basically PC games coming to mobile. No, I'm not talking about, you know, PC ports or something, you know, something like this, for example, you know, Death Stranding that, you know, came to iOS and stuff was ported over and you can buy it on your iPhone or your iPad, assuming that it can actually run it and stuff. No, I'm not talking about like native, you know, ports from PC games or anything like that. I'm talking about something that has been going on specifically in the Android community that shows a lot of promise and I think could lead to that next evolution of mobile gaming. Now, what I'm talking about is emulation. If you guys remember, I made a video like, I don't know, four or five months back, I think, talking about how technically Cyberpunk was now playable on Android. And we basically went over this new emulator that had came out called WinLater. It was essentially a Windows emulator for Android where you could play Windows based games on your Android device. Now, back then, you know, it, it was it was new. It, it wasn't really refined and, uh, you know, performance and stuff like that was not that great. However, you know, time has gone on. We've gotten new Android hardware and stuff. We're about to get a new Android uh, flagship chip with the what does it call like the Snapdragon Elite or something like that, um, which shows a lot of promise in terms of performance. Uh, and, and so things have improved. And now you essentially have playable PC games on your Android phone using a PC emulator. So just a quick look here at this video from Plays of Nano. They went ahead and played GTA 5, the PC version of GTA 5 on their Samsung S24 Ultra. And as you can see, like they're getting a playable FPS. They're getting 30 ish FPS in GTA 5. That's kind of crazy because again, he's emulating a PC game on his Android phone. Like it, it's kind of crazy that this is even possible that it even boots in the first place, let alone, you know, with essentially console like gameplay, 30 FPS, right? Consoles usually aim for that, that 30 FPS mark and stuff. Uh, and that's not the only game that we have here to see. Uh, this is another video from ETA Prime who did something similar with his S24 Ultra, where we can see he's actually using Samsung DeX to connect to a monitor. It kind of gives you like a PC like experience. And he has Fallout 4 running in this instance. And I believe I, I watched this video actually and I believe he's playing it at like 60 frames per second or something even with a bunch of items on the floor and things like that like he was really trying to stress the phone and it was still within 30 to 60 fps depending on what he was doing that in my opinion is super super cool I mean this essentially is reaching sort of this dream of like your phone being an all-in-one device where of course it's your phone but it's also your video recorder it's also your gaming machine you can dock it like he's docking his s24 ultra here and then you can use it like a pc it's kind of we're, we're kind of reaching to that point where your phone can really sort of be this all-in-one device uh, i have another video here this one is from taki udon basically again playing more pc games and stuff here he's playing dragon ball z kakarot uh and so it's just really cool to see that right now just from community you know support and community uh you know invention that we can actually see pc games on android you have to remember a lot of these games will probably never come to android natively because you know these games just they would have to come out with a premium price tag and premium games typically don't do too well uh, on mobile and so it's really cool to see that this is still an alternative to be able to emulate these pc games on android so when it comes to this whole idea that i mentioned about you know the next evolution of mobile gaming or whatever i don't think it stops at pc emulation obviously the emulators that are uh you know out right now or any of them that come out in the future they're obviously going to get better over time and of course android hardware is going to continue to improve so performance is going to improve you know based off what we're seeing here like you know final fantasy 7 remake right now runs at 20 to 25 fps but in two three years on those flagship devices it might be a solid 30 it might be a solid 50 fps it might be 60 you know and so things are obviously going to improve over time but i think this is actually going to be a stepping stone to the next evolution of mobile gaming i think what's going to happen is we're not going to need emulators anymore to emulate PC games. And we're not going to have to rely on developers bringing their games over to mobile natively like we did. Well, like we saw with, you know, Death Stranding or the Resident Evil games on iOS and things like that. I think what we're going to get is basically full 
Windows or full Steam OS support on ARM devices. And we actually have some stuff to go off of to show that this is the next step. So here we have this article from PCWorld.com where it basically says ARM version of Steam Deck's Proton layer spotted in testing. It looks like Valve is working on bringing the Steam Deck's special sauce for Windows games on Linux to Snapdragon and other ARM devices. Now this, if true, if this ends up being what Valve is working on right now, this is going to be huge because it basically means that they are going to be bringing the Steam OS experience, aka the Steam Deck experience, to pretty much any phone that they decide to support. So if you guys didn't know, basically uh, uh, the Steam Deck, it's a handheld PC made by Valve. You know, you guys know Valve, the creators of Steam, you know, they made, you know, Half-Life and, and Left 4 Dead and stuff like that. They made this handheld that you guys can see here in this picture, the Steam Deck, and it doesn't have Windows on it or anything like that. It has its own custom operating system called Steam OS. And the whole way that they are able to play so many Windows games is with this thing that they mentioned here called the Proton compatibility layer. Proton basically translates Windows games and allows you to play them on Linux. And it looks like Valve is actually working on a version of this, but specifically for ARM devices, AKA mobile devices. So as we can see here in the article, it says the Proton compatibility layer is the Steam Deck special sauce, allowing games made for Windows to run on Linux without a massive headache. Now Valve is apparently testing a version for ARM hardware. Proton slash ARM64 EC slash five is not public, but it was spotted in the Steam database info. And uh, with that ARM64 label being indicative of a version of the tool specifically for ARM based devices. Again, ARM is essentially mobile. So when they say ARM devices, they're talking about mobile devices, mobile CPUs, mobile processors in general and stuff like that. It goes on to say, so a version of the Proton layer specifically optimized for ARM hardware could open up a lot of options. The most immediate thing that comes to my mind is SteamOS running on a Steam Deck style device with ARM hardware. There's a lot of devices that fit this specific category. For example, uh, this is basically a Android handheld. It has Android, uh, you know, hardware inside of it but it obviously it looks kind of like a psp you know or a ps vita i should say a device like this you know an android based handheld might be something that valve chooses to support to bring proton to so that you can play pc games natively again we're not talking about emulation or anything like that we're talking about playing these game natively these windows based games natively due to the proton compatibility layer this isn't all but confirmed or anything like that. Of course, you know, this is basically just things that have been spotted in that uh, Steam database. And this isn't something that Valve has actually said they are going to do or anything like that. They could just be testing things. But I genuinely do think that this is sort of the next step for mobile gaming. I think we are going to get things like SteamOS or Proton being compatible with ARM devices, whether it be these Android handhelds, whether it be just, you know, Android flagships with the latest processors and stuff like that. But I do think that that is sort of where we are headed. And I think in the next few years, we could end up seeing all of these games, right? GTA 5 or, or, or Fallout 4 or, or, you know, what was it? Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I think we could be seeing all of these basically playing on ARM devices, on Android phones and Android tablets natively instead of having to, you know, focus on uh, emulation. And this would open up so much more performance because when you emulate things, you need way more performance than the original thing that you're trying to emulate to actually emulate at 100%. So the fact that we're already seeing, you know, sort of playable performance in these PC games uh, through emulation right now, that just means that these devices would handle these games no problem if they were running natively using something like proton but that's pretty much it for this one let me know what you guys think in the comments down below are you guys excited to see future evolutions of this you know pc emulation on android or do you think that you know things like steam os and windows are going to come to arm devices and we're going to play these games natively on android hardware let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but with all that being said guys thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one